Everyone, welcome to Jeff Builds. Uh, don't don't pay attention to any of these pencils or papers or anything for right now. That'll be for a later video. Today we're going to be looking at these metal earths. Now, what is metal earth? You might ask. Well, let's just take a look. See at some of the ones I've already built in the past. So, it's my little metal earth display here. So as you can see, metal earths can be pretty much anything. They're just little 3D uh, models you can build. They don't need any glue or attachments of any kind. It's all just little bits of metal, and I'll explain how they fit together a little bit later. But as you can see, we got everything from little uh, Mars Rover, got a little motorcycle back here, some buildings, and then they have themed sets. So we've got Star Wars, Black Pearl, uh, caterpillar bulldozer construction piece so we've got all sorts of different types and uh, styles you can build really anything you want and then they vary in difficulty as well so these buildings up here probably took maybe an hour hour and a half to build and then this bulldozer right here that took about six hours to build so there's a lot of variation in metal earth and you can really do anything you want but for today I think I'm going to build this special forces TIE fighter from Star Wars so let's just get to it alrighty so what is a metal earth well, I already showed you some pre-built ones but here's one when you take it out of the packaging so you rip off you know rip off the top open the packaging pull out you will get a set of instructions and then you'll also get a few pieces of metal, depending on how complicated it is and the difficulty you'll get. Uh, usually it's two sheets. Sometimes if it's a really complicated piece or there's a lot of pieces, there'll be like three or four sheets of this. So within these pieces are all the pieces you need to build this. And the way it works is there's no glue or any kind of attachment uh, substance that you need to use. It's all strictly metal. So if you can see here, these pieces will have these little, little tiny holes here. And then, uh, let's see if we can find another piece here. And then they'll have these little tiny tabs. So these tabs will fit through these slots and then we twist the metal or we'll fold it over and that's how it just kind of holds itself together. It's very simple, you just follow the instructions, fold it, attach it as it says, and then at the end you got a cool 3D model you can display. So to build these, there's only a few simple tools you really need and there are certain metal earth sets that come with these kits. So the three, if you buy one of these combo kits, you'll get a set of little clippers. This is how you clip the pieces out of the metal sheets. And then it'll give you two sets of pliers. It'll give you some needle nose pliers and some flat, flat nose pliers. These are also good for bending as well as grabbing small parts. So that's a, a combo set of tools that you can get with your metal earth kits. I've gotten a set with those. I also have another set of wire cutters that I had already, some other random pliers, 
Uh, this is a metal sandwich pick. That's just kind of my random tool of choice. I just kind of added that in. I've got some tweezers that also came with a metal earth set. And then this little tiny multi-tool just to have a different set of pliers as well. So it's really, all you really need is some pliers, maybe some tweezers. The more you build, the more you kind of find tools that work for you. I found that this is a good assortment of tools for me. So the first thing you want to look at when you get your instructions out is down under the picture of your finished model, it'll have diagrams of your two part sheets and it'll have them all numbered and nice so you know which part is which number and it makes it easier to cut them out and access them later on. Alright, so looking at the instructions, the first little set we need, we need two of piece one, one of piece two, two of piece three. So I'll just kind of look at my diagram down here, find those parts, cut them out, and then I'll assemble. And it's helpful to uh, orient your part sheets like they are in the picture. That way it's easier to line up the parts. As you can see here, we have piece number one, piece number two, and then if we look at the instructions, uh, right here, it shows us which slots in piece number two, the pieces number, uh, the tabs for piece number one fit. And then it'll either have this little green triangle, or down here, focus, there's a blue circle. So what this means, is a blue circle you insert the tab and then just fold it over so it's flush with the surface so this is for kind of outer pieces pieces along the outside of the model that you'll see that way it kind of hides the tab more and then if there's a green triangle it means you insert the tab and then twist it 90 degrees so the green triangle the twist is a better connection, it's stronger, it holds the pieces together better, but it's more visible than the blue uh, folded over connection. So that's more for visually pleasing places and connections. So now, let's go ahead and get little piece one fitted into the slots for piece two so there we go just fit right into those slots and then the instructions have a green triangle which means twist so I'll grab my little pliers here give this guy a little twist there we go so now it's on there it's snug it's not going anywhere and then but keep going. The part's so small I've lost where I put it. That's great. Where did that go? Can't play fine. <laughs> I don't know how I lost that. Uh, I can't seem to find where that piece went. But luckily, uh, Metal Earth plans for this, and usually on little tiny pieces like that they'll have an extra one or two on their part sheets if they have room for it, which luckily they do. All these tabs are here. You can see it's kind of a bent, almost roof shaped profile. And though the reason I knew how to do this is because in the instructions it shows me the profile that it wants this bent at.
Mm.